Almighty and ever living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on mercy pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please all stand. To heaven. 
things are dead in the glorious God. And all creation is shouting for joy. Contents in the forest complain the field. And sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the Son, the bringer of day. He carries the light of the Lord in his ways. The moon and the stars will light up the way unto your throne. The heavens are telling the glory of God. And all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field. And sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the wind that blows through the trees, the sea's mighty storms. The gentlest breeze, they blow where they will, they blow where they please, to please the Lord. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field. And sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. With Father wind, the waters are filled, and blesses our crops, so all the earth yields. From death unto life, her mystery built, this springs forth in joy. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the fire who give us his light. The warmth of the sun to brighten our night. He dances with joy, his spirit so bright. He sings of you. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the sun, the bringer of day, he carries the light of the Lord in his rays, the moon and the stars to light up the way. And to your throne, the heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of. We begin this Eucharistic celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass here at the Basilica Minore of Our Lady of Piat. We also want to greet all those who are following us on our Facebook page. Today is Sunday. We gather before the Lord as one people to thank God for all the blessings and the graces we have received through the intercession of Our Lady of Piat. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, 
Let's so call to mind our sins and ask the Lord to forgive us. I confess to Almighty God and to, to you, my, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do. Through, through my fault, through my fault, fault through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Kadagiti 
paspas ultil loko awate katay tu Let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your Son <clears throat> have raised up a fallen world, fill our faithful with holy joy, for on those who have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. God does not give up on his rebellious people. He sends Ezekiel to call them to a change of heart. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. As the Lord spoke to me, the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet. And I heard the one who was speaking say to me, Son of man, I am sending you to the Israelites, rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their ancestors have revolted against me to this very day. Hard of face and obstinate of heart are they to whom I am sending you. But you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God. And whether they heed or resist, for they are a rebellious house, they shall know that a prophet has been among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. To you I lift up my eyes who are enthroned in heaven, as the eyes of servants are on the hands of their masters. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. As the eyes of a maid are on the hands of her mistress, so our eyes on the Lord, our God, till he have pity on us. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. Have pity on us, O Lord, have pity on us, for we are more than sated with content. Our souls are more than sated with the mockery of the arrogant, with the contempt of the proud. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. Paul is given extraordinary revelations, but he is content with weakness, because in it, the power of Christ is made more manifest. The second reading. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, that I, Paul, might not become too elated because of the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, an angel of Satan, to beat me, to keep me from being too elated. 
Three times I begged the Lord about this, that it might leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. I will rather boast most gladly of my weaknesses, in order that the power of Christ may dwell with me. Therefore, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecution, and constraints for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, Where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary? And the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon are not his sisters here with us. And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and among his own kin and his own house. So he was not able to perform mighty deeds there, apart from curing few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters in Christ, one of the many things that we deal in life, which is difficult and hard to accept, is rejection. Maditayo kaya ti ma-reject. Anyahang ka din. Ti kaya tayo kaya we are being accepted. We are being accepted. No ma-reject tayo kaya kasla bumaba iti panagkatao tayo. No ma-reject tayo. That's why we do everything we can in order to be accepted. Okay? 
because this is uh, one of the many needs of man no? in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. No, uh, one of the hierarchy of need is the need of acceptance, need of belongingness, need of belongingness. Okay, so we always want to belong. No? We always want to be accepted. We want to belong. That's why we join groups, organizations, associations, societies, communities. Okay? Because we want to be accepted. We want to be affirmed. But in today's gospel, brothers and sisters, si Evangelio itatanga al daw, kaya't may panggep ka ni Jesus na minadida isuna. And sino tinagmadika niya na Dagijay tatao nga makamu kengkwana. Dagijay tatao nga amuda no sino tinaganak na, no sino iti kakabagyan na. Dagijay uh, lugar nga ni Jesus kaya't suna di makil suna dagijay nga lugar. Ha? Kung saan ang ating Panginoon ay lumaki, kung saan ang ating Panginoon ay uh, nakilala, unang nakilala, yun ang mga taong uh, nag-reject sa kanya, ayaw sa kanya, ayaw sa kanya. Hindi nila tinanggap yung kanyang turo sa sinagoga. Sabi nila, sino itong taong ito? Di ba anak lang ng karpintero ito? Di ba kilala natin yung kanyang mga kapatid, yung kanyang mga pinsan, Alam nyo sa, sa Jewish people, brothers or sisters are cousins. No? So siguro sasabihin niyo, bakit kapatid, di ba nakiisa ang ating Panginoon? Yung uh, mga pinsan niya, they consider them brothers and sisters. Yan, no? Are not his sisters with us? Okay? And they took offense at him. Nagulat ang Panginoon. Bakit siya na-reject? Ha? Bakit kilala naman siya? Bakit siya na-reject? Alam niyo kung minsan, brothers and sisters, ganyan yung attitude natin, no? Yung mga homegrown talents kung minsan, ayaw natin. Ayaw natin, no? Gusto natin yung galing sa ibang lugar. Ha? Galing sa ibang lugar, no? O alimbawa, no? Uh, guilty lahat tayo dito, no? Marami namang magagaling na doktor dito sa probinsya natin. Dito sa bayan natin, bakit pupunta pa tayo sa Manila? Ayan, no? Meron naman dito, di ba? Meron naman dito. O kaya, bakit pupunta pa tayo sa ibang lugar para mag-aral? Ang dami naman magagandang at ma magagaling na eskwelahan dito sa atin, no? Yung mentality natin ng ganyan, no? Na kung, kung one of us, kung nasa atin lang, ay hindi maganda ito. Mas maganda yung pumunta tayo sa ibang lugar. Mas maganda yung ibang taong kukunin natin. Kahit hindi naman magaling, okay lang. Basta ibang tao, huwag lang yung sariling atin. No? Kaya dapat uh, baguhin natin yung mentalidad na yan. No? Yung sariling atin, tangkilikin natin. Yan. Yung sariling atin, tangkilikin. Huwag natin i-reject yung sariling atin. No? Kaya, kaya, kaya tayo kasi kung minsan, yun ang naiisip natin. Day tati, Ti, ti, uh, bagbaga tayo, ti bagbagi tayo, mas nalalaing dahil dyan duduma, dahil dyan hangat agad ito eh. Dahil ti kayat tayo, no? However, brothers and sisters, in the gospel, even if Jesus was rejected, He still performed few miracles to people in Nazareth. And He was amazed by their lack of faith, no? By their lack of faith, no? So this gives us a reflection, brothers and sisters, that, that when we are being rejected, let us continue doing what we are supposed to do. Ha? Ang ano, no, maminsan, kahit madida kayat si ay madik na ruden, madida may kayat siya. So let us continue doing what we are supposed to do. Especially if what we are doing is good. Especially if what is going is for the welfare of the people. Let us continue doing that, no? Jesus did not stop his mission even if he was rejected. And that is what our second reading tells us today. 
Saint Paul was rejected. Saint Paul was humiliated. But he continued his mission. He continued doing good. Okay? So for us, brothers and sisters, no? a rejection should be an inspiration no? to do more. That we should be encouraged to do more. Let us take rejection as a challenge to do more. Yan ang ano natin. No? Yan dapat ang ilagay natin sa isip natin. Huwag tayong mabahala o huwag tayong um, magtampo. Huwag sasama yung loob natin if we are being rejected. No? We take it as a challenge. We take it as an inspiration to do more. To do more. No? And that's why Jesus in the gospel continued this mission. No? Even if he was amazed at the lack of faith of people in his native place, he continued his mission. So tayo, ganun din tayo. No? If people do not believe in us because of what we are doing that is good, never mind, never mind. What is important is that anything good that we do, we offer it to God. Anything good that we do is a, is a sign that this is, this is a mission that we want to do for God. No? We want to do for God. No? O kas pangarigan, kaya nagaramit at sinasayat. Ti may isang tao. Kaya nagigit tao ko na, ay, ang kamusak nga, ikantikas ko ito. Hamusak nga, nga, ikikano niya naman ti, tinasayat. Madik kayat kanyam. Ta kontrata ka. <laughs> let, let us not uh, lose heart. No? We move to the next. So, if this person does not accept our goodness and the, our goodness is being rejected, we move to the next. There are many people who would welcome our good deeds, our kindness, okay, our kindness. And that should be our mission, brothers and sisters. Okay? So how do we deal with re rejection? Oh, let us... Uh, Let's take it in stride. Ba, parang sinasabi natin na cool ka lang. When we are being rejected, chill lang. Relax lang. Not everybody rejects you anyway. Okay? And what is important is that think about this. No? Even if many reject you, you always have to understand that there is one who always accepts you. No matter who you are, no matter what you are. And who is this? It is the Lord. It is the Lord. It is God. No? And that's why every time we come to Mass, brothers and sisters, it is a way for us to, to deepen our faith. No? If in the Gospel, Jesus was amazed because the people lacked their faith in accepting Him. We are not like that. We are not like. We are amazed by the faith that Jesus is giving us that God has given us, even if this faith, brothers and sisters, uh, is being tested, we continue to deepen and strengthen our faith. Because at the end of the day, as the cliche goes, it is always our relationship in God that matters. So even if we are rejected, even if we are not being liked by the good things that we do, let us continue doing it. If it is not being recognized by others, we are very sure that it is being recognized by the Lord. God bless us all. Let us all stand to profess our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, Holy. the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Heavenly Father that we be open to this desire to commune with us every day of our lives as we say 
Lord of life, be our strength. Lord of life, be our strength. May the church become a channel of grace and strength in times of weakness and tribulation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, be our strength. May all public servants in government promote human dignity in the policies they implement and the services they render. We pray. Lord of life, be our strength. May all who experience all sorts of oppression and discrimination be consoled by your loving kindness through the people around them that they may find the justice they seek. We pray. Lord of life, be our strength. May all who have gone before us, especially our loved ones who have recently died, be welcomed into your promised paradise. We pray. Lord of life, be our strength. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord of life, be our strength. Heavenly Father, in times of weakness, we find the strength in you. Hear our humble petitions and help us to become one another's strength as we journey back to you, our beginning and our end, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. These are sacrifices may become pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the, the praise, praise and glory of His name, for our good and, and the good of all His Lord. holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And be with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is so right and just, our Jitana salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by His birth He brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by His suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. By his ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew foe, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which should be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Mm -hmm. 
Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, power, and the, and glory, the glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with Behold, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
of peace. Blessed are they, refreshed by springs and by rain, when dryness falls and skates. Behold my shield, my King, in my Grant we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, they may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now have the prayer for the sick. Please all kneel. Please kneel. Lahat po ng may karamdaman, may inintang sakit sa oras na ito. Let us pray the prayer for the sick. Confident that uh, our Lord will heal us through the intercession of Our Lady of Death. Loving Father, we pray for the healing touch of your spirit to our brothers and sisters who are now suffering from illness, disease, and sickness. In love and in prayer, we reach out to them so that we bring your loving care, goodness, and kindness by being present in their time of need. May they be strengthened and consoled by the compassion of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who has shown us the redemptive value of suffering, so that they may be able to offer and unite their suffering to that of Jesus, our Lord, to the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Piat. Amen. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and compare your hearts in his love. Amen. So that in this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God be with you, your family, and all your loved ones the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the love and peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Good morning to all of you, and thank you so much for coming to the Basilica Minor Our Lady of Pia. Good morning, Father. Have a blessed Sunday to everyone. Oh, my God, I'm not a
Oh